John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text, In a pan it shall be made with oil, and when it is bacon, thou shalt bring it in, and the bacon pieces of the meat offering shalt thou offer for a sweet savour unto the Lord. Leviticus 6, 21 Commentary Ver. 21 In a pan it shall be made with oil, with oil olive, as the Targum of Jonathan. The pan in which it was made was a vessel that had no covering, nor hollow in the middle, nor any lip or edge, but was a plain, and extended, and the dough made on it was hard and stiff, that it might not run off. In the temple was a chamber of those that made the cakes, where, as Bartonoro observes, was prepared the meat offering, which the high priest offered, one half in the morning, and the other half in the evening. And when it is, baked, thou shalt bring it in, not thoroughly baked, but very little, as says Josephus, hastily, so that it swells, and rises up in bubbles. Jarki says, the flour was first mixed in hot water, and after that it was baked in an oven, and then fried in a pan, and the baked pieces of the meat offering shalt thou offer, for, a sweet savour unto the Lord, or the meat offering cut in pieces shalt thou offer, as both the targums of Jonathan and Jerusalem, the twelve cakes were broken each into two, and twelve halves were offered in the morning, and twelve at evening, the manner in which it was done was. The priest divided every cake into two by measure, so that he might offer half in the morning, and half in the evening, and he took the halves and doubled every one of them into two, and broke them, until he found every broken piece doubled into two, and he offered the halves with half the handful of frankincense in the morning, and in like manner in the evening, this may have respect to the body of Christ being broken for us, whereby he became fit food for faith and an offering of a sweet-smelling savour to God.